So you're wondering what these huge gumball dispensers are, or you may already know that they house Zonai capsules. Either way, you want to know how to get these to work, so I'll be showing you how today. Zonai capsules hold fancy items like fans, portable pods, and other cool stuff that you'll find useful. This device dispenser is located in the Great Sky Island. You can access it pretty early on in the game. First though, you will need to collect Zonai charges or construct horns, as these are the materials that you'll be adding into the device dispensers and receiving Zonai capsules in return. You may get these items by defeating constructs, but if you suck and can't kill anything, then you can also get Zonai charges by trading for Zonite, which is a material found in the mining caves in the bottom part of the Great Sky Island map. You simply just trade the Zonite for your Zonite charges. You take your Zonite to the end of the cave and you'll notice a construct who converts Zonite into Zonite charges or crystallized charges. You simply do the trade with him or her and get as many Zonite charges you need and now you can head towards the dispenser. Walk on over to the device dispenser located in this part of the map. You will notice a construct who is doing maintenance on the dispenser but all you have to do is die a couple times or wait for a couple sun rotations and then you'll notice that the construct will be sitting next to the dispenser. When you see the construct resting on the right side of the dispenser, this means that the device is ready for business. You simply hold Zonai charges or construct horns and then throw them in the funnel as if you were about to cook a dish. The more Zonai material you put in, the more Zonai capsules that you receive. I've tried adding only construct horns versus Zonai charges to see if the outcome was different and noticed that both had similar outcomes. Same with if you mix and match the Zonai charges with the horns. As of now, these materials only produced fans, portable pods, and flame emitters. That's all I have for today, so if you found this video useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom videos. We're giving away some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom copies. All you gotta do to enter is like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We're gonna be choosing a winner in our next video. Good luck.